doubling. What matters is that you get it right, so don't worry what method you use. I, if you need to count on your fingers, count on your fingers. I strongly recommend rulers, 15 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters. They allow you to count quickly. It's worth remembering as well that Word offers rulers. You can see on the margins here that I have rulers. And you can always draw a number line for yourself quickly, like a ruler, to help you count up and just draw it quickly and then use it. Um, it's worth it. Don't worry what method you use. Just make sure that it, it's effective for you. So let's try some effective methods. So what does doubling mean? It means take two of the numbers and add them together. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. How would you know? Well, use your fingers. Two fingers up, hold another two fingers up. How many fingers have you got? Count them. Alternatively, you could use beads. So what does doubling 3 mean? It means I've got three counters, and I add another three counters to that. And what have I got now? I've got I can count them. There's six. You can count them. Counting's helpful. So three plus three, or count them visually. Let's use the ruler. That's what I recommend. It's a nice quick way to do it. I start on three, and I'm going to count up three from there. So three, one, two, three gets me to six. Oh yeah, that's confirmed. You don't have to use counters. You could even draw any picture you like. So I might want to draw little smiley faces if I have three smileys. Very badly drawn, that first one. And I add another three smileys. How many smileys have I got all together? Well, we're going to end up with six smileys. Let's just confirm that. Okay, but that takes quite a long time. So the nice thing about a ruler is it's really quick because it's already all drawn out for you. So I strongly recommend that because we are looking for both speed and accuracy. Accuracy is the most important. Speed is the second most important. If you carry on doing that, what you're going to find is doubling four gives you eight, doubling five gives you 10, doubling six gives you 12, doubling seven, Let's move that out of the way and wipe off our line. Doubling 7 gives you 14, doubling 8 gives you 16, and doubling 9 gives you 18. And let's just check the last one just to check we're 100% happy with that. If I start on 9 on my ruler because I don't have to draw anything and count up 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, it gives me 18. Great. And why that's great is because once you've mastered and can write these out every time. Don't worry if you don't memorize them, just use that ruler and make sure you can get them. Then I can double any number, because all numbers use the digits 0 to 9. 214, 3,264,298. There aren't any other digits except 0 to 9, so if you can double these digits, you can double any number. Let's try it then two digit numbers. If the second number is under five, it's really easy. We just double both digits. So I'm going to double the four, which remember represents tens. So that's eight tens. And then I'm going to double the one, which gives me two units, 82. And I could have written, let me highlight that in red and box in red again, that these numbers down the side, like you can just write them out straight away at the start of any mental calculations you have to do and have them ready and then just use them. So again, I'm going to have to double six. Well, double six is 12 and double three is six. So that's 126 and write them side by side. You might want to try these to yourself and pause the video and then press play. I'm going to carry on. Welcome back. If you did pause it, double seven is 14, double eight is eight, 148, double eight is 16, Double two is 464. What happens if that second number is greater than 5? Well, if we try and apply the same method, just doubling both numbers, it almost works. Let's do it. Again, I write down on the side the doubles that I'm going to need. Double 4 is 8. Double 5 is 10. And so the answer is 810. Hopefully you should be thinking, what are you talking about? Because that doesn't make any sense. 45 is less than 50. And I think we know that if we double 50, we get 100. So how on earth could we end up with 810 from doubling a number that's less than 50? That makes no sense. Well, it's not that far off, actually. So we can still use pretty much exactly the same method, but we just have to adapt it ever so slightly. So we're going to double the 5. So we're going to double that 4. And we are going to leave it as 8. And then we're going to double the 5 and have it as 10, but we're going to let them slightly overlap this time. And just by one number, because that one is a tens and that eight represents 10. So we're going to let them overlap to give us 90. 
So we do still double the 4 and double the 5, but we overlap them by 1. Let's show how that works for the rest. So I'm going to double the 9 to get 18. And I'm going to double the 7, which will give me 14. And I'm just going to let them overlap by 1 and then add them up 1, 9, 4. Going to do the same here, double the 7. Let's just keep the same colour scheme, purple for the 10s. So double 70, I get 140. Double 7, I get 14. Double 8, I get 16. And I just have to overlap them by 1 because that number there, 8, the last number is over 5. So they're going to have to overlap by 1, 156. Why don't you try the last two? Pause the video now. Hopefully you did. Welcome back. You paused the video. And now let's see for the last two. So double 6 is 12. Double the other 6 is also 12. And I just make them overlap by 1. I get 132. Double 5 is 10. Double 9 is 18. And again, I just make them overlap by 1 because that last number is 5 or over. That makes 118. And hopefully what you've noticed, another way, nice way to see this, is that that 10s number just goes up by 1. So you double the 5 to get 10 and then just add 1. Double the 4 to get 8 and then just add 1. Double the 9 to get 18 and then just add 1 to make it 19. Double the 7 to get 14 and then just add 1 to get 15. The 6 to get 12 and add 1 to get 13. When that second number was 5 or over. Great, so now it's over to you to try on these. Have a go, pause the video now, and then when you come back, the answers will be ready on the screen for you. Over to you. Great, welcome back. There's the answers you should have got. All of these ones in the first column, highlighted with a red box, that last number is under five, so you can just double both and put them side by side. All of these in the second and the third column are five or over. So you have to, you still double both, it's the same method, but you just make them overlap by one. And I've put a red box by that overlap of one, so you can see that more clearly that they've overlapped by one, gone up by one. Great, hopefully that's clear. Try another set, test yourself again. So pause the video now, here are the questions. When you press play again, the answers will come up. Hopefully you pause the video and you're welcoming, I'm welcoming you back. Here are the solutions. So again, just wanted to emphasize with this big red box, all you ever need to be able to do is double the digit 0 to 9. If you can do that, you can double any number. In this first column with the purple arrow, all of them are under 5, that last number, so we can just double both numbers, double the 4, get 8, double the 0, get 0, and put them next to each other. However, in this second and third column, that method doesn't work because that second number is 5 or over. So I am going to double them still, double 8 is 16, double 5 is 10, but I just have to make them overlap by 1. And you see I've highlighted the 10s to show that those 10s column went up by 1 each time. That's how you double numbers really fast. And remember, last thing to stress is stop worrying about how you work that out. Use a ruler, because a ruler can go beyond what your fingers can do. Draw pictures, fine count on your fingers. Do whatever you need to do to be able to double the digits into 0 to 9 and write them down quickly and correctly. And then you can use those with the strategies we've just learnt to double any number. Good luck over to you.